Hello, Bring a Trailer audience. This is Steve Serio from Bond Group. I'm happy to be here today and to introduce to you this wonderful 1968 Ferrari 206 GT Dino. Hopefully, this will be informative, answer a few questions for everybody out in the forum, out in the auction world, people bidding, people reading. Happy to have everybody here. So behind me is one of 152 Ferrari 206 GT Dinos produced. It is a fantastic car in the rarest of color called Verde Scuro. In the entire Dino run, all 3,000 odd cars, they only made seven Verde Scuro Dinos, and this is one of the best colors uh, this car could possibly come in. Uh, the car was just shown at the Audrain uh, Concorde down in Newport, Rhode Island, and it was well received by the crowd. I think everybody was blown away by the color. Uh, more to the point, let me give you a little overview of the car um, and what it comes with. 206 GT original owner's manual. Very handy thing. I'm sorry we don't have the book, uh, the leather book, but we have this. Um, there is a uh, Messini report from Marcel Messini going back through all of the ownership history of the car. It is chassis number 00210, um, kind of built right in the middle of the production of the 152 cars. Sold new in Italy and it remained in Italy all the way through 2017. Uh, the car was then uh, sold into Germany where the owner at that point um, started to do some uh, mechanical work on the car and to bring it to a, uh, a new level. Uh, it was repainted uh, sort of hideously in red in 1975, which was not uncommon, um, but the last owner in Germany uh, brought it down to bare metal and decided that it would look much better in the original uh, color of Verde Scuro. We have some documentation of the car, which we'll focus on of it down to its aluminum bare metal, uh, not showing you know, any sort of unusual damage to the car, which was great to have. So we have the Messini report. Uh, we have, uh, most importantly, well, I know everybody uh, enjoys asking if a car has been Classic A certified, and this has in fact been Classic A certified. Uh, these things are sort of as good as when they were done, and this was done in the last year. So it's not a certification from 10 years ago. It's a, actually a certification that was signed off on in uh, 2020. So it's actually two years old, done by the last owner, uh, showing that, of course, the engine, transmission, all of the important body parts, everything is as it was, all numbers matching. So. Rarely do you see a Dino certified, but the last owner went to the effort. Um, in the history file, which we can pretty much speak very clearly over, this is the original Italian registration. So we have uh, in Catania, and if you notice the license plates on the car, uh, I have searched out uh, the original uh, license plates because when we got the car, the ones on there were incorrect. So we had these original numbers put back on um, to match the original Italian registration. We also have the uh, Automobile Club of Italy, the Storico Italiano um, certificate. This was done uh, at a point when the car was still red. So we knew it was red um, because we have proof of it. So this is dated uh, 1992. And we have some pretty darn good documentation after we got the car. When you get anything, um, things need work. So we started with rebuilding the stocks um, because they were damaged and typical of any Dino, they needed to be fully rebuilt. Uh, we then had uh, Donnie Calloway in California go through the car mechanically and on, on his paperwork here, everything from rebuilding the starter, the alternator, carburetors being tuned, uh, the distributor having been gone through, uh, the gearbox having been adjusted, everything down to an, an alignment. Um, you know, that was great because the car was kind of 90% there and now we feel it's 100% there. 
We also went through improving some of the trim inside that had been damaged over time. Um, uh, obviously, uh, the original material was um, sought out and acquired, and uh, we had the A-pillars retrimmed. We had some of the door panels retrimmed. Um, it was just, you know, a great thing to fix what was incorrect. So that goes with the file as well. Um, without showing you every bit of documentation, again, this is a pretty thick binder, uh, which shows and uh, receipt of all of the registration uh, work from new and all of the mechanical work that the last owner had done. So everything has gone through in here. So hopefully that's informative. Hopefully it's a great thing to hear about and let's have a little walk around the car now. I think the key with any 206 or any Dino for that matter is how original and complete the car is. Everything you'd want in a 206, all of the hard to find parts are here. Uh, original wood steering wheel, original gear knob. Over my shoulder is the gas cap, the exposed gas cap that got changed uh, later in the 246s. Those parts are completely unobtainable. Um, you have your footrest, you have your grab handle. The uh, exterior glove box door has not been cut, so you have this wonderfully original elongated uh, glove box door. Everything about the interior is as it was, uh, with the exception of um, one extra switch which is put in to throw the cooling fans on at your need. If the car started to warm up and the fans weren't going on, you throw the auxiliary switch on and get them on earlier. Everything in the interior uh, is as it was, and the clock is even working, which if, as a joke, you know, there's some things in Dinos that don't work, clocks um, you have here on the um, vent window, you know, those little uh, vent window switches are notorious for falling off. These are perfectly in shape, don't look like they've hit the deck in a long time. Inside as well, uh, you have gray insert uh, terry cloth seats, which was as it was new. Uh, the carpet is correct. You know, everything about the interior is now correct. When we originally got the car, again, we had to rebuild the stocks, which is typical of any Dino if they'd been damaged over time. There were some superfluous switches for a four-way uh, flasher, uh, intermediate uh, wiper switch, which was added. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but all of that stuff has been removed and completely gotten rid of. When we got the car as well, uh, the door panels had uh, superfluous speakers in them. Uh, when we took the door panels apart, the speakers were no longer there, they were just grills. So we sought out the original material for the door panel, uh, had that all retrimmed, had the tops of the door panels retrimmed, had the inside of the A pillars uh, retrimmed because these started to shrink a little bit. So a lot of the detailing that had fallen off over the years is now correct again. Um, so the car goes as it should. The gearbox is fantastic. The two liter engine is fantastic. Everything is tuned perfectly at this point. Tires are well within range of being new and the proper correct Michelins. So let's do a, keep a little more of a walk around here and I'll show you the, uh, the boot, the engine uh, compartment and uh, the front where the spare is. So of course on a 206, all of the panels, uh, the entire car is alloy compared to a 246 GT. Um, there are some similarities to the original uh, 246 L series car, but that's where it changes. The uh, 206 is an entirely different animal and having owned Dinos since 1984, I can tell you this is, this is uh, unlike a 246. I've owned 246, uh, two 246 L series cars in my life. That's a similar thing, but again, this performs differently, the engine spins up differently, the gearbox is different. It's just a totally different feel when you're driving one of these cars. It feels like a much lighter, smaller car. Um, when in fact, you know, the wheelbase is marginally different, but it feels much different. Uh, under here, we have the original spare. The last owner or somebody along the way decided to uh, make this well, you know, sort of wonderful little cover, which is not original, but it's here. But the original uh, windshield washer bag, um, original cooling hose, uh, radiator setup, all of this is as it was. 
Uh, and on the other side, if we move around, what's important here is that you have all of your electronics, not terribly sophisticated, but it was it, uh, it, it is what it is from the period. Uh, all of the fuse boxes, the relays, everything, uh, the back Bakelite uh, style material uh, board, it's all great and cleaned. Uh, we've, we've tidied it up quite a bit, um, but everything is, again, with all of the labels as you'd want them and showing the whole underside of the car as it was and as it should be. And we've also got a uh, little pigtail here for a battery tender, which you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in our trunk area, uh, the most important thing in here is actually back in the corner. Uh, the original Dino Plex is still uh, working fine. Everything's all hooked up there. You can see the coil, the Dino Plex, uh, the original cover uh, also in the trunk which has been over time retrimmed because I think from memory this is slightly different material. If you look here, that's the original carpet. This is more from a, I believe, a Daytona. So it's slightly off in pattern, but nothing anybody's going to really care about, I don't think. Uh, we have the original jack. It's with the car. A knockoff hammer. There is the tool bag with an assortment of uh, incorrect tools, I might add. Uh, There's a wonderful little array of stuff, but most of it is uh, not original, but the bag is. And we have the original uh, safety triangle there. Unique to the 206 is the exposed lock. Underneath the probably the most important uh, hood of the car out of the, out of the three, uh, we have the two liter original numbers matching engine and transmission. As you can see, here is the uh, proper stamp on the chassis. The chassis tag is back here. The original air box uh, with the original type hose and air filter housing. Uh, things that can go missing over time. They have not gone missing on this car. Everything under here is as complete and original as you'd like. It's not over restored. It's not too glossy. It's a very honest engine bay. Uh, original tag on top of the air box. And before I forget to mention, the original straight-eared knockoffs, which are unique to 206 GT Dinos and the first 50 246 L-Series car are here. Uh, later on, they went to uh, a bent-eared style, which is common to replace if the original straight ears have gone missing. But this is, again, as it was on the uh, original Chromadora wheels, uh, showing the correct type Michelin XWXs as well. If there are any more questions, of course, feel free to ask. If somebody would like to come and inspect the car, it's here at Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts. We're more than happy to take anybody out on a test drive, put the car up on a lift, or we invite uh, you know third-party inspections as well. So happy bidding and uh, congratulations to uh, whomever ends up with this in their garage. Thanks very much for watching.